Orders are waiting, ladies. Got it, Carl. Ugh, I wish I were somewhere else right now. I know where I'd be. I know exactly where I'd be. Real quick. I lose my job, okay? okay. I'll give you ten bucks. Oh, no, no, no. no. I'll be real quick. Oh, please. Twenty bucks. You better be quick. And Fred Tate wins the game for the Brisbane Broncos in Golden Point time. Single player or multiplayer? finest of this nation to help us taste and choose a golden amber lager the new Budweiser Black Crown here's to taste here's to our kind of beer the new smooth and distinctive Budweiser Black Crown
Ryan. These new Smoothie McSkittles are delicious. I know. Two different flavors blended together in each one. How can they blend together two things as different as an orange and a mango? It's unbelievable. What about peach pear? A peach blended together with a pear? Now that's an unusual combination. <laughs> <laughs> you two sheep boys! Stop that jibber jabbing! Blend the rainbow! Taste the rainbow. Wish your chicken was bigger, the long chicken and three new flavors, spicy Cajun bacon club or honey mustard. It's been a long road getting here. And a lot has changed since I got back. Now this is the center of my world. And my family's safety is my highest priority. I am responsible for their protection. And no one has the right to tell me how to defend them. So I've chosen the most effective tool for the job. Daniel Defense. Defending your nation. Defending your home. You smell that? Smells like, smells like hypocrisy. So let me get this straight. I can watch a bunch of muscle-bound human wrecking balls collide with each other at close to terminal velocity, flirting with becoming a quadriplegic with every snap of the football simply for our entertainment, watch a commercial about shitting, I mean, shipping my pants, watch Bar Raffaelli suck face with Michael Moore's immaculately conceived love child. Let's not forget the striptease twerk fest that was and usually is the halftime show. But there's just something about a commercial where a man who has served this country with his life talks about protecting his family that 
just goes too far. You do realize that's like teaching a 15 year old how to cook meth, pimp prostitutes and gamble, but then beat him for picking his nose. This type of selective censorship is really bordering on a line of social lunacy, where the idea of self-protection is considered offensive. But I can watch Beyonce, happily I might add, hump the stage during the halftime show. And don't even bother coming at me with the, we don't want to politicize football, when Mayor Bloomberg is allowed a commercial where he insidiously advocates the taking away of a constitutional right. Along with Bob Costas, mouth breathing his way through an anti-gun soliloquy during Sunday Night Football. I see more beer commercials during the Super Bowl than I see football. But don't get me wrong, I love beer, especially IPAs. And if some company wants to give me $3 million, I'll name a specific brand. But let's not act like alcohol doesn't account for more deaths than guns do. But I don't see the NFL or the powers that be banning beer commercials. I'd love to hear someone try to explain convincingly to a football player who gets paid millions of dollars to play arguably the most popular sport in America on national television, probably drives around in a car that costs more than the medium annual salaries of most of his fan, lives in a house the size of the arenas he plays in, and try to tell him it's not a good idea to have a gun for protection. All because a couple jackasses do something bad with a gun and the NFL thinks it has a gun problem, but won't address the number of players with DUIs and drinking problems, or better yet, ban alcohol commercials from football games. I like football. I love beer. I watch Beyonce hump the stage until I'm blue in the face, but I have to call a spade a spade, and banning a commercial that espouses the very foundation this country was founded on is hypocritical as Wait, why are we doing this again? It's for the Super Bowl. Oh, right.